wanted to say, what's up, met you know I'm good. Shit, I'm good. Well, I just got rejected by a guy. And this is the second time it's happened this year. The fact that she posted this on TikTok for validation is the only red flag that you guys need to get out of there. It looks like he dodged a bullet with this one, but she's still holding on for dear life. Today, I want to do a loyalty test with y'all. Basically, so I'm going to have y'all switch phones, type y'all best friend's number in each other's phone, and see, like, if, if any one of y'all messing with each other, like, best friend, homeboys, homegirl, that you cool with that? Yeah, I ain't got phone. Oh, you cool with that? Yeah. Why, 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 you, why you stutter when you say, like, kind of like, kinda like so you want to start with him or you want to start with yourself? Him. No, we want to start with you. So take her phone, right? Find your homeboy number and type it in or, or messages and see what pop up if they got any type of like conversation. So you gotta be quick. It ain't gonna die by the time we got down, go through it. I bet you know your homeboy number? Yeah, I bet type it in. Oh, they got messages right here. You say you never text them. What do you mean? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You say you never text them. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You say you never text them. for him. Doing what for him? Your birthday coming up? Uh, what the hell you talking about? Right. Christmas uh, Christmas is like This is coming So you gotta text his homeboy for Christmas Yeah, we doing something Read the rest of the message No, my phone's dead Bro, that's I thought you said you trust her, bro They don't leave <laughs> So man, you know what I'm saying? Bing bong When she took that little pause before saying yes That was a telltale sign that things were not gonna go well <laughs> Hello. Right. Well, you just as lovely as I remember. You'll need to get some of that. Because he uses oh. them for you, not me. We don't need those. That's for you. It was part of your Christmas present, but you might as well keep it. I know exactly what you've been doing and what you've been going for weeks. They're a minging, dirty oh, no. bastards. Is that all you've got to say? Is that all you've got to say? Is that all no, you've that got to say? Really? It's not really? 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 Getting caught twice is stupid. You nasty, nasty person. You You're going to get some self respect you? for yourself. What does he tell you? That we've got a relationship because it's not. It's a fucking good one, and you've destroyed it. You have destroyed it for a second time. What did you think you were going to do? What was your plan? Did you have a plan, or did you think you could have both? Martin, how dare you do this? They're not worth our words. Come on. You are disgusting. You dirty bastards. Wow, this woman almost sounds like Martha from Baby Reindeer. He should watch out. Well, we have women come in there. We ask them what the average height they want. They all want six feet taller, taller. That's the top 14% of the population. They want to make $100,000 a year. That puts you in the top 26% of the Allie's population. Last. Men who aren't obese, that's only 25% of men that are not obese. And you want them to not be married. Well, guess what, ladies? All the good-looking guys who are fit make $100,000 a year. A lot of them are married. By the way, 30% of the men on Tinder are married. 30 percent that is like one of the most outrageous statistics for some of you it's probably not if you're an exotic dancer or whatever you're probably like yeah i, I thought it'd be 50 percent for me i just like society has broken somewhere if 30 percent of men on tinder are married that is mind-boggling to me right they're not even considering the concept of monogamy this needs to be talked about way more women have their expectations way up in the clouds and if they keep them there everyone's gonna end up sad and alone. First, all right, so listen, I want you to call your girl best friend and tell her you're trying to be a better person and then ask her if there's anything that your boyfriend wouldn't want to know about. How do I have to do that? I'm loyal. It doesn't matter. It's just for a quick loyalty test just to see what's going on. And if it's loyal, it shouldn't be no problems, right? Right? We're right, yeah. All right, whatever. Okay. <laughs> Put on speakerphone, turn all the way up. Oh, that's cute. A little hard next to her name, Leona. Yeah, best friend. Okay, so I'm trying to be a better person this new year, so is there anything I did last year that my boyfriend wouldn't want to know about? Um, I don't think so. Did you? Remember when we were at that news party and you were like in the bathroom with that black guy for a really long time? I don't know if you guys did anything though. What? That never happened. The one that was like all over you and then you guys were like in the bathroom. I'm not no, gonna say what are you talking over. about? No, Why are you making no. up? I'm not saying, I'm not, I don't know if you guys did anything, but I saw you go into the bathroom, but you're just, you're the one asking me. 
I can't believe you right now. Like, why are you making this up? Wait, are you with him? No. No, you're not with him at all. You're not with him at all. Oh, well, no. Like, like, I don't, I don't know. Like, I don't know if you guys did anything, but he was all over you, and then I saw you guys going to the bathroom, but I don't know. Like, I'm not trying to call you out or anything, and I'm not going to tell him, but that's all I saw. What? I didn't do anything. Bella, I know, like, I, I'm not going to say anything to him, but I'm sure that you did something with him. He was literally all over you. And the funny thing is, is she's still trying to gaslight the friend that saw it with her own eyes. How many relationships you've been in where you can't be fully honest with somebody? I don't know about fully honest. But that's my point. Not being myself. But that's my point. Having to doubt being that. yourself, yeah. being honest, all of those things are the things that I'm speaking to. Mm -hmm. If you can't do that with somebody that you're in a relationship with, you can see this person naked. You can sleep with them. You can do all these other things, but you can't tell them the truth. Right. Okay. You got a problem. The whole point of being in a relationship is having someone that you can be yourself around. So if people are faking that, then what would be the point of a relationship? Do you need something? Do you need something? Okay, I thought so. Do you need something? Do you need something? Do you need something? Keep the question. If you need you can leave. Nobody was looking at you any type of way. Yeah. I don't own the gym, I, I work here. Okay. Yes. And that if you're getting rude, then you can leave. That means what? I can go to the police and have you trespass mm -hmm. right now. Would you like that? Go ahead. Okay, cool. Go ahead, let, let them know. That's what we'll do. So right now, I'm just going to take the stuff and hit up front. No one was even worried about her, so walking her out was deserved. $5,000 or one night with me? $5,000. Why? Uh, I thought I was perfect. Yeah, about $5,000 is $5,000, guys. Can we split it at least? No. <laughs> For 5K, she better build me an entire house overnight. This woman, and who are you? No, 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 And they always claim that men are always flirting at the gym. It doesn't seem that way to me here. Kiss or slap? Kiss or slap? Are you kidding me? No. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. <laughs> so angry. This guy was extremely wise not to fall for that. I asked, is your boyfriend's name Brandon? She says yes. Lie detector test determined that that was the truth. I ask, do you fantasize about other men while being intimate with Brandon? She says no. Lie detector test determined that that's the truth. So, so far, so good, okay? You're doing great, right? With your big mouth. Exactly. I ask, have you stolen yeah. from Brandon? She says yes. Lie detector test determined that that is the truth. You know, she you has pay, sometimes stolen. I take some of your money. That's just... You what? stolen from me? So What? We, we take care of everything mm -hmm. in the house. So what? What else does it make? Whatever. Just I asked in the, I'm trying to hurry up and get her out of here. I asked what? in the past 30 days, have you used the internet oh, to meet other God. men? She says no. Lie detector test determined that that is a lie. So she's using the internet to find some other men that can deal with her big mouth. Uh, yes. I, ha I asked her, have you used unprotected... Yes. With anyone other than Brandon, Brandon she says true. no. Lie detector test that she's been very, very, Brandon, very much a hoochie true. mama because she's not using protection while are she's cheating on you. you. And I'm going to continue to talk to her like are this you because she's him? very disrespectful. Me? I asked, have you engaged in group since you've been with Brandon? It's not true. Group detector test is She says no. Lie detector test determined a group. Is a lie. Don't listen to them. I asked, have you allowed no, someone to I pay you? I'm you the truth. I asked, mess with the test. Don't listen to her. <laughs> she lied to you. I asked, Brandon, look I at me. Yeah, look don't at me. Listen to them. I asked, has a allowed yeah, someone to pay her? Them. Them. She Do says, no. Don't. Lie detector Do test determined that was a lie. Don't listen to them. And the one that you came in here for, you asked me to find out if she's cheating on you in this lie detector test. I asked her, is she cheating on don't you? To him. She says no. Lie detector. Back. We don't want to hear what you're 
Oh, she lied to you. You know what? She lied to you. She lied to you. You better get out of my face. Oh my God. She lied to you. She did group stuff and stole from him. She needs to repay him his money and then some. She don't. I did tell you. I thought I told you. I had to work. Yeah. Well, I just wanted to say, what's up? Let you know I'm good. Sure, let me tell you later. I do love you. Harry. And they're sharing a bathroom at work? This is just messed up. I would pay this woman money if she could show me where the reaction was at because I didn't see it at all. Is anyone else in their 30s going through a midlife crisis at the moment? I'm up to my third. Uh, my divorce is the first one. Second one, buying a drum kit, deciding I wanted to learn how to play drums. Third, i have it's just dawned on me. I've sold my house, sold my car, sold everything I own, windled it down to a little suitcase, and I'm about to move to a country that I haven't even visited i haven't even been there on holiday i haven't even flown that far i am moving to a country what am i doing <laughs> okay lady you do you especially with the whole country thing If you want to record without any interruptions, just stay at home. It is that simple. Why do you think a woman who is an average looking, uh, below average physicality, below average weight, can sit around talking about they're gonna hold out? Or wait, what are you waiting for? The answer is what many are waiting for is a sucker. They're waiting for somebody to go to go ahead and say, you know what? Even though you got two hundred thousand miles on you and had a couple of wrecks, I'm gonna go ahead and pay brand new prices for it. Don't be a sucker, guys, especially for used cars that can barely run in the first place. <laughs> Just remember, guys, confidence is something we all need a little bit of. As a childless woman in my early 40s, I'm constantly thinking about my retirement and what that looks like. And it's always the same, no matter what. And it has been since my 30s, which is to live in a hut or a well-framed cabin in the woods with a community of women. And we all just like grow our own food, make our own preserves, read books, fix everything ourselves have coffee together in the morning, drink wine at night, have a bunch of cats and dogs and chickens and goats, maybe some horses, pigs, whatever. And then we do really weird at night that makes everyone scared to come up to our property and just leaves us alone forever until we all just in our beds, happy. That sounds like a pretty good retirement. Oh yeah, totally, that sounds super fun, but tell us how it goes once you need our help fixing something. And your toxic trait is complaining about men while you're simultaneously trying to get their attention. Uh, body count seems to be the No, topic. my body count is very low. So Sorry. You count, did you I, I don't it? consider, okay, my personal, I, I just talked to Joe about that about a little while ago when we were arguing. I was like, my personal body count is low. I don't consider work. It don't matter. Oh, work That's bodies the don't same count. Thing. The work 52 titles don't count. Don't count. No. Mm -mm. So you count the other bodies and then you count the... Two, it's two different bodies for one for kiss. No, and the other Keisha, one for Keisha, me, the woman, you know what I'm saying? Like her body count is low. Okay. That's like a hitman saying he's never killed anyone. I'm sorry, but you're just wrong. Something about me is I've been single for six years 
And the minute I get the ick from a guy, the minute he annoys me just a little bit too much, the minute I feel suffocated, the minute you've annoyed me or there's some sort of drama, I am done. Like I have had a really good ride being single, living my own life, doing my own thing. I have a very chill, drama-free life. And I just don't have time to like teach a guy how to treat me you know and I just cannot be bothered with someone I just met to sit down and like I don't know like if you I just accept the way you are and if that's who you are great I'm gonna move on and find someone else and I think also with that I just haven't met anyone that I like enough to care enough about to work through whatever has annoyed me. <laughs> well, we'll see you in five years when you start complaining about being single and lonely. Are they in school? Is this what school is like these days? No, do, would you date a girl who does well, We've had this conversation. So my friends will tell me off. Um, Your friends will tell you off? Friend, we, we had a big argument about this okay. in like um, creams. Why? Um, because they were saying, like, I shouldn't say that. You shouldn't say what? I shouldn't say that I date someone who does a dance. Okay, why? Um, because it's not um, an edifying career path. It's quite degenerate. You're not um, encouraging people to grow and, and build themselves up. You can help the world in multiple different ways and none of them require doing that job. 9 p.m. She calls me and she's like, Tony, you never hang out with me. And I'm like, well, I hang out with you most weekends, but maybe it's because you're at the gym every single day for like three hours. And she's like, well, you can just go to the gym with me. And I'm like, I do go to the gym with you. We go to the same gym. It's just that when we're at the gym, you never acknowledge that I f exist. You just always do your own thing. And she's like, well, if you were so many people's gym crush, you would do the same thing. How would you feel if your gym crush was dating somebody and you found out? You would feel shit, right? That's why I ignore you. She was pretty Persian and fit. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna let that slide, whatever. But then a week later, she comes up to me uh, right before she was about to go to the gym and she goes like, Tony, I ran out of pre-workout. And I'm like, okay, so go buy yourself some pre-workout then. And she's like, no, I want you to buy me some pre-workout. And I'm like, no, I won't. You're a grown woman. You can go to GNC and buy yourself some pre-workout or get it from Amazon. And she's like, if you don't get me pre-workout right now, no for a week. So I'm like, okay, what flavor pre-workout do you want? And she looks at me, her eyes are literally sticking out like this, tears coming out from the bottom. And she's like, you don't know my favorite pre-workout flavor? <laughs> And then suddenly, she starts throwing hands at me like this. Da, 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 da. Okay, so what I'm hearing is he accidentally dated a psychopath. Got it.